What's up YouTube land? So today I'm gonna go ahead and review the um, Samsung Odyssey G5 32 inch curved gaming monitor. It's 144 Hertz, uh, has HDR 600 I believe, and um, one of apparently the most extreme curves, if not the most extreme curve that gaming monitors offer, similar to the G7 model, which is a 1000R curve. I'm gonna be putting it into my current setup, which is um, right here. I got a, um, you know, for, for console games and some stuff where you can sit back a little bit, I got the 48 inch LG C C10. Um, and then I have over here, this is what it's gonna be replacing. I have the LG uh, 650F. It's a little bit older, FreeSync, flat, 32 inch gaming monitor. Also a VA panel with a five millisecond response time. Um, great monitor, but I'm looking for something with a little bit more, especially if I'm gonna, when I'm not playing on this, I want something a little bit more immersive. So that thir that thousand R curve might um might really come in handy. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and this first video is gonna be the unboxing and initial impressions of the out of the box experience. And then I'll probably go ahead and do a short review. Um, that might be a subsequent video. If not, I'll just merge them both. But um, I'm doing this because I personally was looking for a review on this monitor. And since I believe it just got released yesterday or today, I'm one of the first people I know to even have it. So I figured anybody else looking to possibly buy it, searching YouTube like I did, only to come up empty, this will come in, come in handy. So let's get into it. So here's the box. Let's see what it says on the sides, anything special? <clears throat> Nothing crazy. All right, so I don't have like a fancy knife, I have a scissor. Should be enough. Cut open. Let's get into it. It's kind of hard to do this one handed. So there we go. The top piece of silicone has the power cable and the stand. Let's put that aside. You can see how that looks. I'm not gonna. I'm mounting it, so I'm not gonna take this stuff out. But you got the stand right there. There is the power adapter, and that looks like the spot where you can actually the headphone mount, I believe. All right. Here is the monitor itself. It's got that same turbine look from behind it that the G7 has. Only thing is this does not have the LED backlight feature. So, but that's all, you know, that's all cosmetic. So functionality should be fine. Oh, and the, and the G7 is a 240 Hertz where this is 144 Hertz. But rumor has it you can overclock this to 165 Hertz. So. I will go ahead and try that and I'll report back in my review. Let's see. That's a serious curve. All right, let's move the box over here. That's an intense curve, but I think I like it. Not gonna lie. All right, so let's give a good look at the back, the turbine look I told you about. Got the Odyssey logo. I know the lighting's not amazing in here, but it'd have to do. I'm not a big time YouTuber <laughs> like that. This is just all to help anybody else who's thinking about getting it. Let's see what we got. We got, uh, let's drop it down a bit. 
So we can see the ports. All right, so for ports, we got uh, USB, power, headphone out, HDMI. Nothing crazy, but enough. And then let's go look at the front of it. Oh, it looks really nice in the front. Wow. Really good looking monitor. So you can see it looks just like the G7. The major difference is being that um, there's no LEDs in here, which is fine for me because that's all cosmetic. And then on the G7, this Samsung logo, it actually has like a silverish blue tint where I'm sure some people like that, but for me, I'd prefer, um, I prefer the much more subdued look. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video, get it mounted, and we'll res when we resume, we'll have it hooked up giving it a shot. All right. Alrighty guys, so this is gonna be the review part of the monitor, where we actually go into testing with games and input lag. I'll go over some of the spec with you, and I'll get a little uh, Overwatch gameplay in there as well. I have Overwatch running in the background. You might hear it coming through my headset right there. But um, just disregard that. It's pretty low. So anyway, here it is. It's all mounted up. I can't really give you um, any experience on the stand itself. But from what I did see, it's a little it takes up a little more space than I'm comfortable with on my desk. So I did go ahead and got a um, I went ahead and mounted it using a mount I got off of Amazon for 26 bucks. I'll go ahead and I'll include a link to that in my description. But here's the monitor. As you can see, it's really clean looking. It has a gamery design without the added LED effects of RGB or any like crazy colors or anything like that. So really happy with it. Um, one thing I'll tell you compared to the LG monitor I've used before this, as well as I also forgot to mention that I had before the LG, I had the 32 inch Samsung CHG70. So compared to those two monitors, um, while this is specced out better, it's incredibly lighter. So as you can see, it's thin as well. Let me go ahead and put this light so you can see the back of it. There's that light right there. Now, don't mind my wires, but. So this should give you a look of a better look at behind the monitor. You get that turbine look. You can see where it's mounted. You can see how thin it is. And there it is. And by the way, it's holding its own right now. And that's in contrast to a 48 inch LG OLED. So that in and of itself, if it could hold its own that much, should tell you that it's uh just definitely has a decent picture. Let me turn this light back off. All right. So let's go over some specs to the monitor. So as you can see here, this is from the actual Samsung webpage. It's a 32 inch WQHD 2560 by 1440. It has 144 hertz refresh rate, again, I mentioned earlier that I heard it could be overclocked 165 hertz. I have looked into that. I haven't been able to get it to work just yet, so I'll report back to you if I do get that working. It has a one millisecond gray to gray response time and a 1000 R curve. The curve initially, I thought was gonna be too much, to be honest with you, for when I'm, the games I'm gonna be playing on this, which are first person shooters or more immersive games, that curve is phenomenal. Um, so let's see what else we got going on the web pages, go beyond. And that should this kind of shows you the curve difference. You see 18 R and 1800 R in the middle, flat in the back, and the one that this has 1000 R is to the front, and it's best for the human field of view. QHD 144 hertz refresh rate. We went through this one millisecond input response time. FreeSync Premium, and it does work with G Sync. I have it connected to a RTX 3080 right now, just so you know. So I'm getting taking full advantage of this monitor. Um, and it is where it is G-Sync compatible. HDR10. Game style UI, but it's completely black. One thing I didn't like about the prior, previous Samsung monitors, you can see here. And you can see like in person. One thing I didn't like about previous Samsung monitors is that they had like this like bluish color wasn't a big fan borderless design clean black um 2500 to 1 contrast ratio 
one millisecond response time, 250 peak brightness, and that's that. I'll show all specs. There's some more for you. I'm not gonna read them though, you can just look at look, read it yourself. All right, now what we'll do is we're gonna open up Blur Busters. And you can see just how smooth, well, I think you could see, but probably definitely not the same because you're, you know, viewing this through YouTube view my, through my iPhone camera, but you can see 140 hertz is, 144 hertz is really smooth. To give you an example, you can compare how this looks right here to how it, when I'm gonna move it over to the OLED, which the OLED, you know, has no input lag and no blurring and no ghosting. Move it over to that, and you can see it doesn't look much different. So that's that. Now what we'll do last is we'll go into a little bit of gameplay. I got uh, I got Overwatch up and running. So let me go ahead and put this down. See if we can get a good picture straight on. That that should work. Let me see. All right, that should work. So maybe we'll do a little bit of um, I'll just run around. Options, video. Let's go full screen. Okay. What I'll do, I'll just to show you how good, um, maybe we'll do a little quick play. Thank you. Quick play classic. Death match where we look. Colors pop. There's no ghosting. It's so responsive. Um, what I like to do, even when I have G Sync, Free Sync enabled, if you look at the upper left hand corner, I like to lock my frames just below a number that I know it can always hit. So I'm not overexerting the GPU, getting any dips or and or any even micro stutters, which I know some people say you, you don't see with G Sync and Free Sync enabled. But I find that having enabled and still locking that frame rate, so example, I, you know, I could have no problem in this game hitting 144 hertz or 144 frames, but sometimes it'll go 160 frames, 168 frames, blah, 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 where my monitor can only see 144. So by locking it at 140, I'm putting less stress in the GPU, less frames bleeding, less frames are missed. And then again, my GPU doesn't get overstressed. I don't know if that makes any sense. It's just for me personally, I found that it does seem to result in a smoother experience, but I hope this gameplay is sufficient. Let me see if I can. There we go. All right, we're getting into a game so you can see how I play with this monitor. I'm going to be a little Torb. Torb's my guy lately. I've been having a lot of fun with him. So I'm recording this on the iPhone XS Max. So, <laughs> like I said, this is not going to be the most professional studio quality video. But I went ahead and I stopped the video just so I didn't lose that in case my mom calls me. <laughs> and um, and I restarted it up. So that's what that stutter was. Because if anybody calls you, I'm sure everybody knows when you're recording or doing anything on an iPhone, if somebody calls you for some reason, the video is done. Like you're just, it's done. You got to do it over. So. Not very happy about that.
Oh, 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 that's not good. Damn it. Oh my god. Sometimes when you play in quick play, the dudes are better than <laughs> competitive. Go. Oh. 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 This Ash wants me. This Ash wants me bad. But I got. I want her a bit more. And that's the game for you. So, that's right, silver. Maybe I'll do one more. Maybe we'll get like a more colorful map now. That one's kind of dark. Second half anyway. So you can kind of see how the curve works in your advantage just from this video alone, the way I got it angled. It's kind of a first person experience. You get wraps around, makes it so there's less stress in the eyes. So the theory behind it is at any point of the screen will be the same distance from your eyes at the center. And that's supposed to cause you less stress and make it more immersive. In theory. I like Tiny Overwatch. You ever play Tiny Overwatch? It's crazy when you get in there. Whoa. There we go. Torb again. Ooh, it's a Torb with an Ash on my team. This should be good. I find that Torb and Ash go really well together. Trying to move around really fast, so you see there's very little blurring. Good luck, have fun. I'm actually recording a YouTube video right now to review my new monitor, so everybody say hi. Uh. Come back. I don't even want to let them get past the first point.
I really love Torp. That was probably a waste though. Anna's low. Nice try, Hog. You got Hog? <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. None of them were that great. Let's not let's not give them that much credit. The hog is the best in their team. <laughs> nah, he's good. I'm kidding. I'm messing around. I'm messing around. But watch those. Those would, be my, those would be my famous last words, and we'll lose the round. Nice. All right, so let's. I'm gonna say I played that well because of this monitor. All right, I'm just gonna go on record as that. All right, but so. Let's see if I got a card. I did, but I'll vote for Anna. I mean, Ash. Alrighty, guys. So, I guess we'll end it here. This is the Samsung 32 inch G5 gaming monitor. I think this is one of the first, I'm not gonna say in depth, but US reviews of the monitor. 
impressions of it. I'm blown away. Very happy with it, especially at the asking price, which is um, I paid three sixty nine on Amazon. I think it's gonna be three forty nine when it's fully available. But um, yeah, really happy with it. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, leave them leave them below. I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. But uh, that's it, guys. I hope this helped.